Hey troops, Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy. And for today's groove construction lesson, we're gonna check out one of the perennial books on funk drumming, and we're gonna use it to help us develop some possibly uncommon, but yet really effective hi-hat coordination. It's gonna be a good one. I know you're gonna dig it, so let's check it out. And as with every lesson, be sure to download your free PDF just so you can follow along better, understand it more clearly, and just maximize your whole experience with this lesson, okay? So just hit the link and you'll be good to go. So as I mentioned, the book that we're gonna use today for our groove construction is a legendary book that's been around for over four decades now, I think, and it's still going strong. It's authored by the great educator, amazing drummer, Rick Latham. This is Advanced Funk Studies. This this book is, is so popular, I think because of its just universal appeal. It, it has awesome stuff for beginners, really interesting stuff for advanced players. So don't let the name fool you. It's not all advanced concepts here. There's some really tangible basic stuff that drummers of all levels can really gain a lot from. In fact, we're gonna use one of the more basic patterns, one of the more basic grooves to help us get started with our groove construction today. So let's get on to the lesson and check it out. All right, the basic groove we're gonna use from the book is found on page 15, it's exercise seven. It's just quarter notes on the hi-hat with some 16th note syncopations between the bass drum and the snare drum, okay? This is exercise 1A on your PDF. So one thing I really like to do with these one bar grooves is to come up with a, a second bar that's kind of similar to the first bar to create a, a two bar phrase. I, I always challenge my students to do this just so that they can start to come up with their own ideas based off a, a basic idea and it's super effective. And also I think it's just a much more musical way to practice. So let's try it. This is our second bar groove where we'll call it like the resolution groove because we're kind of resolving the phrase here. All right, so let's check it out. This is, this is 1B. Okay, so as we know, one of, the, one of the easiest ways to change the feel, the overall feel of a groove, is simply by modifying the ride pattern that, that we use. So for our groove construction today, we're gonna pick one of the more uncommon ride patterns. It's, it's a three note phrase, but we're, we're just gonna play the E and an A uh of the 16th notes within the beat. So basically all the 16th notes except for the down beats. All right, so let's try it. Here's just a basic beat with playing E and an A uh as the ride variation. Now, I know for most of us, that's gonna feel kind of uncomfortable, which is totally fine because it's, it's a newer idea. So, you know, let's give ourselves a bit of a break here. But one way to really help us develop some, some comfortability or some confidence with it is, I, I would encourage you to apply that ride variation to the, the 16th note bass drum development exercises in the daily drills lesson series. That way, you can apply that ride variation to all of the most common bass drum variations. And that's really gonna help you develop a really strong foundation and you can play with some confidence. So I would definitely encourage you to do that. For now, let's see how this ride variation feels and sounds with our basic groove that we took from Advanced Funk Studies.
Now let's apply that ride variation to our resolution groove as well. This is exercise 2B on your PDF. All right, finally, let's add some hi-hat openings. This is gonna be super cool and actually easier than what you may initially think. So we're gonna open the hi-hat on the last 16th note of the beat, which is, which is the us, right? One E and ah. Uh. And then we're gonna close it on the downbeats. So all we really have to do to achieve this is just step quarter notes with our left foot. One, two, three, four, and then just play the hi-hat ride pattern as written. E and a, E and a, E and a, E and a. Sounds like this. All right, and then we're just gonna add one more little cool addition to give it a little bit more flair, some pizzazz, if you will. We're gonna double that single kick note on the E of four in the second bar to give us two 30 second notes of rhythmic awesomeness, all right? So, and then that's it. That's our final constructed groove of the day. Let's check it out. Number three, let's get it. So on the surface, that groove may sound you know, pretty complex, kind of involved, but hopefully you can see as we go through all the steps here, we take it slowly, we work on each layer, things really start to fall into place and it's not so overwhelming, especially if we if you have the PDF, right? You Then you have that visual component and that's that's massive too because that's involving your eyes. That's, in, that's involving one more of your senses that you can incorporate and you can use to help you understand it better, internalize it much more effectively. And that's really practicing at a really high level. And that's why I'm always kind of encouraging you to, to download the PDF so you, so you have that visual component because I know how effective it is and, and I want you to get as much out of this as you possibly can. All right, thank you again for checking out this lesson. As always, if you, if you got some value from it, if you got some new insights, can you please like, share, subscribe, you know, the drill, all that good stuff. You know, I don't want this to be routine, but it really does make a difference with this whole process here. So if you could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, thanks for checking out this lesson. If you are one of the six drummers that doesn't already own this book, Advanced Funk Studies, go out and get it. It's awesome. Rick Latham gave us just an awesome gift of endless inspiration here, and we should all be taking advantage of it, and that's what it is. Tons of cool grooves, lots of great exercises, even some really cool transcriptions of some legendary grooves that us drummers should all really know. And like I said, it's just a great book. Go out and get it. Until then, what are we doing? Stay in focus.
practicing with purpose. We'll see you next time.